What's up guys? It's Mr. Legit. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a roof repair. So if you have a leaky roof, you're watching the right video. All right. So I just want to give a huge shout out to each and every one of you guys, all the supporters. We broke hundred subscribers. Super excited about that. Um, make sure if you haven't subscribed, make sure to smash that subscribe button. So let's go ahead and get into this video. What we're going to do is we're going to tear off the roof, find the leak, uh, fix all the rot if there is any, and put it back together. So let's get to it. All right, so basically the leak's happening right here. If you look, see that? I don't know if you guys can see the flex or not. Always start at the top when you're doing a repair or any tear off. You don't start at the bottom. You always start at the top. My goal is to take off this shingle right now. But in order to take this shingle off, I need to go to the shingle above it and take the nails out of there because the nails go through the top of the shingle. I'll show you guys here in a little bit. Now I'm not too concerned about keeping these shingles good because, or keeping them in such good condition because we're gonna buy new shingles. So we'll have to go down to the store and get some new shingles. But always take off the top, break the seal and start taking out the nails. And if you look where I'm taking these nails out of here, they always put them in the same spot. So you gotta look real closely. See this nail right here? So you come underneath and you kind of pop it up a little bit because this shingle is going to stay. And you take out this nail. This is the trickiest one. This, shing this first shingle is always the trickiest one. After that, you can pretty much see what you're doing really well. So now we pulled these nails off of this shingle. Again, we want to take this shingle out. So now this shingle is going to be really easy to take out. Watch. You'll know if there's a nail in it because it won't come out too easy. There's a nail, one more nail. Let's see here. Nope. It looks like there's one more nail somewhere. All right, so we're gonna be there's a nail way up there. Sometimes you get a nail. Come over and look at that. You guys see that nail way up there? I don't know why they nailed the top of the shingle, but yeah, they shouldn't have. It's crazy. I'm just going to pull it out of there. See that where they nailed the top of it? Absolutely crazy. Makes absolutely no sense why somebody would do that. There's probably a reason why it's leaking. They don't know where to nail the shingle at. Not surprised. Nothing surprises me. All right, let's see what we got. Let's take off this shingle now. See that nail? Take off that nail. And then you get the... So keep on coming up. Take your nails out. And this looks pretty loose in there, which it is, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. Like the nail at the top of that shingle. Again, they nail, they're nailing all that everywhere. Look at all those ants. Look at that moisture. Look at that centipede in there. Oh, look at them. All right. So, if you guys don't know, we are in here in Portland. So, it does get a lot of rain in here. And, uh, and it can have a lot of little critters. A lot of these little bugs and things like love the moisture. So this is prime place. Let's see what we got here. Get out of All right, let's see here. Take off this, all these nails, nails, nails everywhere. We haven't found the leaf yet. I have confidence we will find it here shortly. Let's go ahead and pull that now. Can you guys are nailing this. Just nail about here, about an inch up. You don't want to nail so high. There's no, no need to nail it so high. If you guys have a wall like this. Again, your repairs might be a little bit different, but in this case, this is kind of a tricky one. Too, so if your repairs in the middle, you can do this little. This will apply to, the, to you guys in the middle. In the middle, it's even easier. Go around a pipe flashing. Start at the top and you come down. 
I wanted to show you guys a little more difficult one. That way we, we cover everything. This is a miniature duck foot. If you guys haven't seen the big duck foot, I'm gonna put a link in the description. But this is a little duck foot. It's perfect for these little repairs. So come check this out. Should shave off a little bit of time. Again, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, you could just use the pry bar, but if you're a roofer and you're into repairs, this tool works really nicely. Shave off a lot of time. Pop these, all these nails on. A little more. See, look at that. That's not good right there. See that? We're gonna get. We're getting somewhere. See that little rip right there? See all this caulking that they did? They didn't try to figure it out, but it's like nobody can really figure out why. We call them caulking pushers. If you're a repair guy and you just spray around caulking, you're a caulking pusher. So make sure to get to the get to the root of the problem. Jeez, I'm kind of curious. Get out the hook blade. rotten that is that is not good oh man oh boy oh, no. oh yeah that is rotten we have to take this up a little bit more until we find until we find no more rot we have to go up to a little higher here we go again I'm gonna take off this shingle four shingles one two three four if you want to take off this shingle you have to come up a little bit higher. Alright, so I'm going to continue to take this off. If I find something interesting, I'll show you. Um, again, we're going to take off these four shingles get to some plywood and show you guys something cool here coming up. Look at all these ants. Look at that ant. Look at these guys. They're everywhere. There's millions of them. They're crawling on me. Nasty. Check this out. These roofers, the last guys, they did a patch job. For one, they just cut out the rotten area. Second of all, it doesn't even, you, you have to land on the truss. And they've used roofing now, so, I mean, no wonder it's leaking. Look at that, watch, you gotta see this. Look at that, it doesn't even land on, it's supposed to land on the truss. See that, rot, rotten? Rotten, straight rot. Yeah, so we have to go back another run because we have to land on the truss, so we're gonna come back to a truss and then we'll fill all this in. So keep on watching, guys. Now what we're gonna do is chalk a line down here, chalk a line up there and cut it, and we're gonna put a two feet piece in here. That way it spans several trusses in his two feet, make it nice and sturdy for him. Yeah, look up, look at that. That paper just brittle, look at that, brittle. And this roof, this roof is only probably five years old. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, wow. That is not, that is not supposed to do that. Look at this. See that? That's wet. Wow. All right, guys, let's get to this. I'm gonna open it up and show you guys exactly what we found. Woo hoo, look how nasty that is. That piece is nasty. Did you guys see how nasty that was? Let's go ahead and continue to take off more of this stuff. Wow, wow, wow. I'm gonna get some help backup. I need some backup. We're gonna get a little bit of backup from Christian, my man. Christian, gonna hold this. Trust us. Now that we are done with all the tear off, you can see 
Uh, what we're gonna do is put on some three quarter inch plywood to match this, this uh, tongue and groove all the way over. Then we're gonna come through and put on some uh, half inch CDX plywood. Uh, it'll make it nice and sturdy, nice and strong. Then we're gonna go ahead and put on some shingles. So we gotta go take the shingles down to the local uh, roofing supply store, match up the shingles, and then we'll come back here and get it installed. So let's go. Is we're gonna get into the Scion. The truck is in the shop right now, getting detailed. But what we're gonna do is we just showed up to the local, the local roofing supply store and we are going to go match this up on the board right here. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can match this up and get the exact color. That looks like a match right there, guys. Let's get back to the roof. shingle i'm gonna cut some books if you guys haven't seen that video make sure to click the link but i'm gonna cut a five five eighths off this cap coast shingle right here this is what the guy had on so i'm going to go ahead and cut a little notch out of this it's really simple you just take out your knife and anything you got to go around you just take your hook blade out and just cut around it in this case, we have to cut around a little siding. Nope, oh, that sorted out of my way. And go ahead and shingle. I want to do that all the way up. The shingle's about five inches and a quarter. Maybe about five inches. Quarter right there. Go ahead and nail this bad boy off. All right. So I'm going to show you guys a little trick when you guys get to the top, any wall you're at. Take your shingle, flip it upside down hit it up to the top and then you could find the line underneath and that's where you want to cut it so looks like in this case roughly about two inches so what I'm gonna do is and it doesn't have to be perfect because this will all be hidden so take it like that see it's a little bit low that's fine because this metal will be covering it and another shingle as well So whenever you guys get your where your roof meets a wall, you need to kick it out. It's called a kick out flash and you put it into the gutters. What I like to do is just make a nice big one. Take it like that. You take this piece and you tuck it underneath and then you bend this piece over and you just hit it down with your hammer. Make it nice so it's going to look like that. And the water essentially kicks out into the gutter instead of running down the siding, which you can see here. In some spots where the gun doesn't fit up underneath here, sometimes you just gotta do it the old fashioned way with the hammer. I like, sometimes you have to turn your hammer sideways even. All right, that thing was super hard to get in that last, uh, that last tin shingle. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of caulking and glue it in there. So if you can't get it in there because of the soffit, it's okay to glue it in there. You guys are doing this make sure you take off this last piece right here so that way you can get it underneath there if you didn't have this last piece there's no way you can get underneath there to flash it all the way up to the top on, dude. where this will intersect right here 
it's got to be gray underneath this piece okay so and since this is a low pitch we're going to run this all the way up and then we're going to come over and cut on this side normally so since it's a low pitch the lower it's got to run up first and then we'll cut on this side i'll show you just what i'm talking about here in a second See that? What we're gonna do is close this off so no rats get in there. Or possums up here. We don't have much rats. It's not in New York, but we got like a possums and squirrels and stuff like that. But close that off. We'll even do another one. We'll even go like this for them. There, now we got that. I'll go all the way up like that. There. No rats can get up in here now. All right, so you guys ready for this? I'm gonna put a piece of starter on right here. We're gonna go into the valley. Now, we're gonna run this whole valley up. The first piece you're gonna weave. So, if you're gonna start run this whole side up, you have to run this side first. We're gonna run all the way up. So this right here. So now I installed this stuff. It's called a roof to wall. So that way, when the water runs off the siding, it hits this and it runs off the roof. Now what we gotta do is go ahead and flash up this wall. Always make sure you nail the last shingle when you do this too. So you have to come up. The, the shingle you took it out, it's kind of a pain, but. We got it all cleaned up. Uh, we can go ahead and take a look and see what we did. Basically, if you guys remember, we, to we tore it off. We fixed all the repairs. We put some fascia board on and then we just shingled it back together. It took me a little bit longer than I thought it was gonna take. We were out here all day. Uh, it's always hard to come behind somebody, but if you guys like what you saw, make sure to hit that subscribe button. As always, we'll see you guys on the next time around.